before I retire. Yeah. So the thing, the, the thing about it is they do, but most of the time you gotta ask for it if you see that something is going on. But now they're kind of looking at it a little bit different. EAP is looking at it a little bit differently. If you're involved in a, in a traumatic situation, they'll come to you now and come on the scene with either the chaplain or somebody say, hey, uh, are you all right? How you feel? And they'll say, okay, I'm good. And if they feel like you're not, then they'll put you on administrative uh, duty for three days to evaluate you and see how you know how you react to that. So react every being what desk work? Huh? The administrative duty being what? Desk work desk meaning off the, street. off the streets yeah. meaning that you might be at home for three days. So mm. that's set it up like the military then basically now. So if, if something happens to you while you're on the job. They come talk to you, check you out, and they don't feel like you're fit to go back out in the field from You'll now. go into the social psychological evaluation, they'll evaluate, and then they'll see, okay. Now, that was, that's all coming, that was a change to it. So, the, the aspect of it, when you look at it, everybody will be put in a tra traumatic event. How do they recover from it? It's different than me and you. Okay, I can recover, it might not take that long. But some, it might take a while, you can have nightmares about a scene that you were on for a couple of days, but what you have to do is, like you said, if you're going from one call to the next call to the next call, sometimes you don't have time to think about it until you do get at home, when you sit in that chair, when you relax it for a minute, and then you're like, oh, dang. When you wake up, start with because you done saw something traumatic. So you have one of those things where you have to look at. And to go back to one other thing that you, you had talked about, the kneeling piece, okay? I get both sides of the hat because I'm retired military and retired police. So a lot of times when I wear my retired hat, a lot of people come up to me, black and white, and ask me that question, how do you feel about a certain, I see you retired, so you put in a lot of time. So yes, I've been 28 years. And when they ask me that question, and I tell them the, the, the answer is shocking to most, I said, it's good. I said, I don't have a problem with it. I said, it's better than when he went, first he was sitting. So actually, in special forces, God went and talked to him and said, hey, if you want to make your calls, kneel. Because soldiers kneel for their fallen comrades. So most people take that out of content. But me, I take it if he's kneeling. Because I'll tell you right this. When the National Anthem is playing, is the concession stand in Stop 7? So who's picking and choose? They don't say nothing about that. Yeah, I know they don't say nothing about it. But if you go to a game and you see, hey, that's that event, but they still ain't stopping their concession stand. They still make their money and they bill. So don't pick and choose. What he's doing, to me, I've had teachers when I went to schools, and they asked me that question. And I was like, I'm OK with it. I said, because he is not doing anything, but he is protesting for the rights of uh, uh, 